I wanted to 3D print the 1950 Dubrovnik chessmen that I'd been making from wood. Modeling the pieces with spun profiles was easy, but I didn't have a decent model of the knight. I carved the knights using a paper template. I made several attempts to model the knight using CAD software. Starting with this shorter variation of the Dubrovnik knight, I used only solid body modeling in SolidWorks. My approach was to start with a solid block and remove material just like carving it out of wood. And while the result was okay, I just wasn't quite satisfied with it. And I kind of prefer this second variation of the knight, which is slightly taller. So the next attempt was to use surface modeling, where a surface is placed in its final position, and only at the end do you create an enclosed volume, which can be formed into a solid that can be sliced for printing. I didn't bother adding in all the final detail, as I was already thinking of going down a different avenue. I had been experimenting with photogrammetry scans, which is just a fancy term for projection mapping. I took 76 photos at different angles of a knight that I had carved by hand, and using Meshroom, I created a mesh object file from those pictures. I did print a few knights from the raw object file, but it lacked quite a bit of detail. So I used Blender to create a perfect symmetry and add the detail back in. I realized I could have modeled the entire thing in Blender, but my Blender skills just aren't that good yet. And now I can finish this crude animation. And this is slicing it for printing using Prusa Slicer. The green is the supporting material. And finally, printing it. These were the support material settings I found that made the removal easier, but also provided enough support for the overhanging features. And I assembled the bishops and the knights using some epoxy. I used some cheap felt for the bottoms and cut it out on my CNC laser. The reason behind the piece abbreviations was just me trying out the laser. And finally, the first set was complete. And since scaling is easy in the slicing software, I could finally settle the age-old dispute about which size pieces belong on which size squares. Since FDM printers always have visible layer lines right off the build plate, I had the knight printed at a local library on a resin printer. It had a better surface finish, and the support material was easier to remove, but I did find it to be a little bit brittle to work with. At first I weighted the pieces by modifying the infill density on the base to be 100% and the remainder of the piece to only have 7%. A better approach is to insert the weight during the print so it's captured inside. The slicing software can add a pause at the exact layer that the weight needs to be inserted. And then the print resumes, covering the weight on the following layer. Since half the set will fit onto the printer's build plate, it's tempting to print them all in one big batch. This is what I normally did. But since it's a longer print time, I learned to always print with brims and to use some glue. Otherwise, if one piece comes loose, it can turn into a spaghetti nightmare. I printed some interesting color combinations to give away as gifts to friends and family. I printed with some more exotic materials, such as ASA, which has a higher temperature resistance than PLA, but the surface finish and the detail just aren't as good. I tried wood PLA, which has about 30% wood fibers or sawdust mixed in with the PLA. This makes it extremely weak, kind of like the disappointing type of waffle cone. I printed a couple pieces in TPU, which is like a flexible rubber, but the support material was not easy to remove. So how much cost and time would it take to print your own set? Well, for these parameters, using a higher quality filament, and using extra filament in the bases to act as a weighting method, that increases the printing time quite a bit, looking at a total print time of about three days and seven hours for the entire set, with only $24 worth of material, but unless you plan on painting them different colors, you'll probably have to buy two different colors of material. A cheaper and faster printing option would be to use inserted weights instead of filament for the weighting method. This reduces the printing time to about two days and only $8 worth of material. If you want to print this set, I've published all this information in an article on my new website. And at the bottom of the article, there's a link to purchase the STL models so you can download and print your own set. There's a printing guide included with some tips for you or anyone you contract to print this set. If you don't have a 3D printer, 
you could search for a local 3D printing service, or you could try the public library, which only charged me the cost of the filament, or you could search for a member in the Prusa community who has set their availability to print on demand and seems relatively active with lots of prints and uploads. I have no idea what somebody would charge, but it's worth a shot. And you can find somebody with the same printer as me almost anywhere in the world. If you do decide to print your own Dubrovnik set, I'm curious to know your experience. Let me know in the comments or send me some photos of your set through the contact on my website.